guys it is scorpion red tarot i am back yes indeedy yes indeedy what is popping what's popping what's popping what's popping yes baby we are here for the i am reloaded single singles pick a card reading yes if you were single and i mean single i mean single 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 i mean you ain't talking to no old slides you ain't got nobody in your inbox that you interested in it don't mean that we don't have people trying to holler at us but ain't nobody that we interested in right now we ain't you know Still looking back, having no uh, sympathy in our heart for any exes in the past, looking to see if they're going to text us, if they're going, uh, 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 what is they called? Bend the block. We ain't looking for nobody to bend the block. Listen, <laughs> we are single. And when I mean single, I mean single, 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 and ready to mingle. If you are single, 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 and if you are reloaded, I mean healed, heart ready, open, ready to receive and believe in new love baby this is for you this is for you my boo i want to give a shout out to all my ogs i want to give a shout out to all my newbies i want to give a shout out to every last one of my babies that have come through and like share subscribe and click this video okay if you don't came through thank you okay now listen i'm scorpion reds if you've never met me before what's up okay before we get into any guidance you know we always want to give Thanks and praise and acknowledgement to Father God, the Creator, the Universe, whatever you want to call Him. However you acknowledge Him, we're going to give thanks to Him for it all. So, <clears throat> if you wouldn't mind bow your head with me. Father God, we want to um, come here collectively and just say thank you to you. We want to thank you for waking us up. We want to thank you for believing in us. We want to thank you so much for letting our heart heal and regenerating us and being open and accepting to new love energy father god okay we are reloaded and we really mean it we are reloaded and we are ready to go we are ttg we are trying to go jesus so we're here to find out what is going on in love what energies are coming to us in love when new love is coming to us we're just really really here to get all of the positive information that we can receive you know because we believe father god we believe okay all right if there's one thing that we got is our belief in our faith okay our belief in our faith system is something that is uh, not to be tested and played with father god and you know it okay so father please give us the guidance that we need to receive today uh for our lady Ladies and gents, okay, for our ladies and gents, for my single, single, singles that are trying to find new love and we are reloaded and ready to go, Father God, please give us the guidance that we need to receive today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen, okay? <laughs> Father God, you know what? <clears throat> Thank you for being a friend. Boom, 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 boom. Travel down the road and back again. Boom, boom. Your heart is true. Jesus, you're a pal and a comforter. Thank you for being a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. Okay? Chikow. All right? Stop playing with God out here. Stop playing with God out here. Okay? So I know that y'all done seen the thumbnail. If y'all ain't seen the thumbnail, I'ma uh, put it in here. Right here real quick, okay? Okay. So, um, y'all know we got three beautiful piles. Three beautiful, 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 beautiful piles, okay? And we're gonna get into this. So if you have picked Pow number one, which is represented by this beautiful bracelet here, the Aries sign, all right? That doesn't mean that you have to be an Aries. It doesn't mean that you have to have any Aries placements at all. You could just like what it looked like. Okay, you could have just liked the way that the the the, 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 the sign was pointing in the direction it was pointed or something like that. You you ain't you ain't even know it was Aries, okay? Or if you just like the number six. Group number one, that's your reading right there, okay? The blue 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 <laughs> the blue bracelet. Aries and number six. Group number two, 
if you picked the pink bracelet, all right? If you like the sign of Gemini and the number two, baby, group number two is all about you, all right? The number two and my, 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 Gemini. That is what you are gravitating to. Group number two is for you. Now, if you picked the yellow bracelet, the sign of Scorpio and the number 11, which is funny that that came out in the role because I don't know which other pick a, uh, uh, pick a card uh, reading I did where it's like the Scorpio keeps coming out in the row. And Scorpio is my side and one of my favorite colors is yellow. Now I'm not a November Scorpio though, but I just found it was hella funny for the Scorpio and number 11 to come out for group number three. Group number three, you know what it be. So if you pick the Scorpio sign and you do not have to be a Scorpio, you do not have to have Scorpio placements, you do not have to have an infinity for Scorpio signs because you know we are extra sexual terrestrials. You don't have to have none of that shit going on. You could just like number three, the number 11, or just because it look like an M&M girl. You understand what I'm saying? All right? So we are fucking reloaded, okay? So we about to get it to this. <laughs> We're about to get into this. I'm about to move my piles over to the side. Okay? It's like they be liking to move your panties over to the side. We're going to move it over to the side, girl. We ain't got to tell nobody. We ain't got to tell nobody that you be up in the truck. About to let it book. About to let it book. About to let it book. Okay? Group number one, that's what you be doing. Okay? Don't you be getting into no vehicular shit, okay? <laughs> You know, that's an indecent exposure if you get caught getting in the truck, letting it buck. You know what I'm saying? Be careful, y'all. We don't want y'all to have no charges, okay? Anyway. All right, let's get into this, y'all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, look, group number one. If you picked the blue bracelet with... The airy sign and the number six. This group is about you. So, you know, the number six is this number of love, harmony, relationship, caringness, responsibility, uh, you know, being, hmm, what's the word? Nurturing to people has a lot to do with obligations and family and things like that so you know if you like the number six you like to be mothered you like to be nurtured and cared for you like a lot of harmony and and good food and you know a lot of laughter and a lot of friends friendship and things like family and, and you like to do things in groups it's very important to you okay very important to you all right and uh I'm gonna put this over to the side. I'm not gonna get too much into that, but yeah, we're just gonna get into this tea here. So the first thing we're gonna get into is why is my group number one single? Okay, so we're gonna get into that. Why is my group number one single? So you got the uh, Eight of Swords in the reverse, which is very good. So it seems like you're releasing yourself from any type of limitations that you might have said, anything that you felt like was holding you back. Um, you know, like how sometimes it's like you could be far removed from a situation, but mentally you just can't let it go. Like you have got to the point in your life where you just don't give a fuck about that shit no more. You don't find yourself thinking about these things anymore. Those limitations, those blockages have released and removed itself from your life just naturally. And I feel like you're in a better position now. But the reason why you were single, I feel like it's taking you a little second to stop thinking about things from the past or stop thinking that it was certain things that you were holding on to ever about yourself um, that you needed to release and grow past for you to feel more confident to move forward and be ready for love. So, looks like those limitations and blockages and um, has disintegrated. 
we got the ace of uh, swords right here like i said you feel a lot more confident a lot more self-assured um you know exactly what you want there could be something again about something in the past that you weren't releasing you felt like it had more of a grip and hold on you than it actually did you know you just woke up one day and was just like i don't want to do this shit no more i don't want to feel trapped i don't want to feel obligated i don't want to hold on to this no more i don't want to think about this no more because it really has no importance to me it only has importance because i'm giving it importance once you remove that importance baby you literally woke up <laughs> the next day and you found something better to do with yourself. It's like you feel more enlightened. You feel more um, enthusiastic about the future in life. You've been looking into more better things to do, more um, things to pour into yourself. I feel like you're working on your uh, facial beauty regimen treatments and things like that. You're taking yourself out. You're going outside. That's a lot of air energy. You even in right now, like right now, it's like cold outside. You could still be putting on your North Face and your little uh, muffs and your um, <clears throat> ear muffs and all of that stuff like that. Your gloves going outside or whatever the heck it is looking cute. In your boots with the fur looking like her just going outside getting some fresh air uh going on a bird watch walk and just even enjoying nature in the current climate like you just really enjoying yourself right now being single is very important to you right now like you have a lot of ideas a lot of uh personal uh things that you are inspiring to do because you've had so much time for, uh, by yourself and because you have stopped thinking about things that really don't have the control over you that you thought that it did it, it's not but it's something to me you guys just keep telling me it's not important as you thought it was it's really not because there's life after that. There's so much better life after that. And it's like once you put the focus back on you. You enjoy. Like right now this group like thoroughly enjoys. Being by themselves. Now that these limitations. These mental blockages. These mental blockages have been removed. You got the punishment in the reverse. Oh gosh. So this is the hangman in the reverse. So. <laughs> I feel like you could have been forced to spend some time alone. Maybe you don't realize that you were being forced, but God wants you to know. No, it was. Like, <laughs> he was forcing you to kind of be alone, to kind of see something from a different vantage, uh, uh, a vantage and point of view that only you could have seen by yourself. You could be looking back at certain things, certain situations, certain jobs, certain people, certain relationships now. And it's like you're glad that you're not there no more. You're glad that you don't have nothing to do with that. Look, confirmation. You understand why God removed you from that. You understand why God made you spend so much time alone. Like you could have been single for the past two, two three years. Like, and... It's not as much of a punishment as you really think it is, but it was because God made you. He, he made you step aside and look at people from a different viewpoint, a different vantage, different point of view. I feel like now that you've taken the um, mental requirement and the mental necessity out of your mind of feeling like you need to have a relationship to have some type of foothold on your life and your happiness and reality. Like you feel so much better about yourself. There's so many people that um, feel like they have to have someone connected to them so bad 
that they're willing to, to be connected to anything and their whole life is miserable right now because they got the wrong person connected to them. And you are just so thankful for that, that you see that now because a lot of people that you were holding on to that you could have held on to in the past, you were punishing yourself. You know, it was like you, you could have been victimizing yourself on some self-abuse shit because the people that you were holding on to had no business on being around you. So you could have been single for a long time. You feel like it could have been a punishment. Really not. Really more of a self-evaluation because your taste is a lot different now. Your vision is a whole lot clearer. It's not clouded anymore. So it's now it's time to step down. It's time for you to finally release yourself from feeling like you have to stay at home a lot. That you don't have to. It's like you're being released back into society from your uh, self-secluded prison. You feel me? Because, like, even, like, <laughs> the eight of swords in the reverse, it's like someone being released from jail. So, it's like you could have served your sentence. Like, you did your eight months of celibacy. Like, you you, 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 you did what you needed to do. Um, you could be dating somebody or going into a situation where, number one, I feel like it's just yourself right now. Um, because I want to say this person could have taken a vow of celibacy. You could have taken a vow of celibacy. It's not as a self punishment um, for what you've been through, but it's like I don't. It's not important. It's like for you guys, it's like sex is not important. It's about honoring yourself, knowing your truth, and being firm on what you stand on. It's like I've been through enough. I don't. I don't. Um, need to be pressured being in a, in a rush to do something stupid to end up back into that self-imprisonment that I just released myself out of because yeah you guys are um, definitely in the stage now where you're open and you're willing to date it's like you're tired of being alone it's like um at this point I'm so victimizing myself if I keep myself indoors any longer you know, I served my sentence. Like it's, it's like my debt to society is paid. It's done. It's like I could I could leave now. So, and you've done your vow to celibacy. Uh, with this group, the person that comes into your heart space that deserves to be there, you're not going to um, make yourself suffer if the feeling is mutual and if it's really a place where you feel a place of belonging you will definitely feel blessed and uh, willing to open yourself um, with the hopes and the pure attention that is going to marriage and, and honestly I feel like this group number one uh, like that's their intentions honestly but I don't see if, if, if it feels right, I don't see that they're up there and hold themselves back for no marriage. But um, let's see. When can you expect a uh, true new love to come into your life, group number one? It says the situation will improve. I feel like you're almost there. You're about to reach the surface. I like how those dolphins there. You guys can be a water sign, a cancer, a Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, and you know we had the, uh, this group is represented by Aries. All right, so I want to say that. Um, and then what? Uh, February is what Pisces anyway, right? That's like Aquarius, Pisces, right? Yeah. So I want to say like for the water sign individuals or air sign. It's like you're very intuitive and very smart individuals. I feel like you know how to control your emotions better um, than the other signs in your class. Like, especially for the Aquarius. Like, you have a lot better control of your emotions. You're more thoughtful. You think uh, 
more than you'll react to your internal emotions. And the Pisces as well. I know a lot of Pisces, like they'll just sit there and play dumb. Uh, but internally, it's like they're way more calculated than you would think that they are. You feel me? So, I feel like you guys are about to crack the surface. Like, uh, internally, you are a lot more self-assured of where you're going. You see the progression. You see the light. You're definitely at the surface of happiness in regards to your personal life. I feel like love would just be like the tip of the iceberg for you, honestly. Um, things are swimming upstream for you. You are allowing your intelligence and everything that you know and everything that you've been through in your life experiences to um, help propel you and to, uh, yeah, to propel you forward. You're seeing a lot of success in your personal endeavors. Um, and I think a, a lot of people around you are congratulating you. And slowly but surely, um, you're moving so fast, group one, that you're swimming away from any type of distractions or any type of people that uh, may look at you as competition. Any type of people that uh, may have any type of envy or jealousy. Like, you're just moving so quickly right now that... Um, I don't even think that anybody at the bottom can see where you're going. Like, you're so far. You're at the top. Like, you're at the surface. Like, um, especially if you're a water sign, you're able to swim all the way to the surface and to mingle with the air creatures. Because, you know, like the seagulls and the uh, animals that are able to be above water not land individuals but air so i'm seeing like a connection between water and air here and there's a lot of air here too so in this group i'm definitely getting water and air and you know my air signs that's the aquarius that is gemini and that is Libra. So this says take action. I already told you that there's already a lot of uh, acceleration and upward movement. This is, I'm getting like the chariot. Um, you guys can definitely be a cancer too. Only thing I really didn't pick up here was the Scorpio energy. Um, for sure getting chariot. You feel emotionally confident and you're moving forward regardless if you see what you like or not. For this group, it's like you have no feelings or no uh, obligation to nobody. You have no problems with being alone. Like you feel celebrated in your lonesome. Like the more that you stay alone and you focus on yourself and your forward momentum, the more better quality that you see is around you because like I said you're moving so fast that you don't even you don't see anything that reminds you of any type of past time like you were carving new footprints this group right here in your success level and in love so everything for you is going to be like brand new it's going to be brand new so continue to take action, continue this momentum, continue to move forward. Um, I think that the level of seriousness that you have in regards to um, not quantity, but quality. If it's not something that you like, you don't even care. It's like you just keep, you, you just... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's not where I want to stop. I'm just going to keep going, keep going. And I feel like you guys like fast, fast cars. You guys like sports cars. Or you like people that drive sports cars. You like roller coasters. Like, this group is like a daredevil. You like travel. You like going down deep ski slopes. 
this is a group that is very fashionable. Um, they can smell your perfume or your cologne as you enter the room. Do you understand? You're very trendy. You're a trendsetter. You're very um, light on your feet, but very sharp on the tongue. You uh, will call somebody out if you see some bullshit, but at the same time, you're not going to cut someone down without giving them a... Uh, uh, that you're not going to slight the hand without giving them valuable information to pick them up as well. I said that to you because you would be better if you would approach this like this and like this and like that. You know? So, it's either you or the person that is coming into your life is... Okay, the person that is coming into your life is someone that is a leader. Is someone that is um, has a very high integrity and impeccable dresser. Uh, they believe that you are what you eat. So if I wake up in the morning and if I dress like I don't care about myself and I'm not well groomed and if I don't look like I'm good enough to taste, then well, goddamn, what the fuck can I expect to come to me in my future? You know what I'm saying? Like this is someone that loves fine art. They love fine dining. Like I said, they like fast carding, like tra uh, traveling. I feel like their children are grown. Um... Anyway, let me keep on going. So, let's see. The next thing is, tell me about the new love coming into you in your future. So, you got vivid dreams. You got butterflies. And you got courting. So, this could be someone that you've dreamed about. Like, it could feel like deja vu when you meet this person, group number one. Have you guys been having deja vu a lot recently, group number one? You feel like you smelt this cologne before. You feel like you've smelt this fragrance before. When you're around this person, they literally give you butterflies. It sends like this whole eruption through your body, like your whole body from your toes all the way up to your fingertips and your lips. It's just tingling. Your stomach being churned. You be so nervous and you can't get that smell off of your clothes. Oh my goodness. It make you just want to clench your legs when you see this person walking. Ooh. Baby, do you understand? I love how you guys are just so open with you guys, uh, with each other. You talk about your futures. You talk about ways to create money. You talk about, like, your family and friend involvement. Like, everything that you do, it has to do with the community of people that mean a lot to you. Um, I feel like this person could be a leader. Like, a lot of people... Um, are, are, are very admired by this person's success and how they do something from the ground up this person could have had like um a troubled history in their youth and their past and it's like they could have well i just heard like a pastor like this person um or like not a pastor but like uh not an actual pastor but like i want to say preaches a lot to the youth like uh a youth mentorship i want to say like this person could um do football with kids, especially if this person, I feel like this person has a lot of boys. This is a kingmaker. This person is a kingmaker. This person is a great leader, and this person is a kingmaker. This person loves sitting up at night, laying in the bed, talking to you about their dreams and their hope and community involvement. And they are most definitely um, a very charitable person. I, I for real feel like this person could be in Aquarius for real. Very in inspirational. It says vivid dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. As the connection deepens, your dreams become more pronounced and full of answers. You guys are for sure going to be talking about your hopes and dreams with each other. We got butterflies. Enjoy the overwhelming excitement and bliss of new or old love. You give me butterflies inside, inside. 
say I just wanna touch and kiss And I wish that I could be with you tonight You give me, uh, you give me butterflies I'm sorry I think that you guys are going to be up late at night, staying on the phone for hours, talking to each other. Like, if you can't be with each other physically, you guys are going to be talking to each other for hours. Almost like they're the high school jock and you're the popular cheerleader. And, like, y'all are... <laughs> I feel like so many people are going to admire this situation. They're going to admire your relationship. I feel like it's just quality. It is quality. Look at this courting. Like, you guys really do go on date night. I feel like you guys make a spectacle of date night. I'm going to tell you this person is an impeccable dresser, ladies. This man that is about to come into your life, you're going to have to buy some wardrobe to keep up with this motherfucker. Because when this, when this motherfucker step out, this person don't play. I'm talking about the shoes. This is somebody that they literally sit with their boys with some cigars. Okay, with designer freaking cigars and sit and get their shoe shine and talk about stock exchange with people. So, yes, this person literally has nice shoes that have been waxed before they come to meet you. Really nice dress coats. Very nice cologne. I wouldn't even be surprised if this person, yes, goes get a pedicure and goes and get a facial. This person has facial hair. The facial hair has nice smelling oils in the facial. What? This man goes get his, his pubes. <laughs> Stop playing with this motherfucker, right? Because I like me a nigga like this. Come to me with motherfucker porn star dick. Don't come to me with all of that look looking like Bushwill Bob. Don't come to me looking like Bushwill Bob, okay? Like you ain't never shaved that shit off in your life. That's the same bush of pubic hairs you done had since it's been growing since you was 13. Cut that shit the fuck off. That is a choking hazard. You gonna kill somebody with that shit. I don't know how many times I'ma say this in these readings. Y'all gonna kill somebody with that shit. Cut that shit off. We come in here looking like Bushwill Bob. No fuck. This man is well groomed. Okay. He gonna come and teabag you. Them balls gonna be greased up. Smelling good. Alright. Smell like he done rub some Izzy Miyake on this ball. This shit smell good, girl. No fuck. You don't be coming up from teabagging and shit. Look, you ain't even got to put no moisturizer on your... Look, your face is well moisturized, okay? After that nigga done fucking it dropped his sack on your face. Just drop that junk up on you like that. Just drop that junk up on you. Okay? Bitch. We is re- We is re-fucking loaded. Bitch. This, this person gonna take you out and y'all gonna have a good damn time. And I mean a good time. Y'all gonna make a spectacle of it. Y'all gonna be doing reels. <laughs> it's gonna be some cute shit. Do you understand me? Group number one, it's gonna be some cute shit. Like this is the type of man. He is so swap. He is so debonair. He is so past that player shit. He's really showing men. How to do it. This is how you treat a lady. You keep them laughing. You keep them fed. You keep them full with love. You keep them. A donut with your attention. You don't even give them space or a room to. Think that you don't care. Or think that you're not thinking about them. And think that when you wake up in the morning. No, they're getting that good morning text. Because you deserve it. You're the first thing in my mind when I wake up. You're what I want to be next to at night. When I go to sleep. But instead if I'm like holding my pillows. I'd rather sit up at night and talk to you. That way when I'm going to sleep baby. I'm having vivid dreams about you. 
And every time you see me, you make my heart flutter. You give me butterflies. You make me feel like I'm a, a teenage boy. <laughs> For real. Like, people think, women think that men don't get like that about us. They get like that about us, ladies. We make them nervous, too. We give them butterflies, too. Don't think that you don't do this to this man. Hmm. It says this period of development towards a romantic relationship is important. This time will help you both see if marriage is in the cards. Enjoy the uh, courting period. I feel like it's going to be a long courting period because this person is never going to stop courting you. Even in marriage, y'all still going to have y'all date nights. It's never going to stop. Never going to stop. Never going to give it up. Okay, stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Look, that's what they say. Look, grown people don't play with their food. You hear me? Grown people don't play with their food now. Either you going to eat it up or pass it on to somebody that want it now. Then nobody got time to be playing with you little ass boys. This ain't no little boy. Okay? Or this ain't no little girl. You feel me? Grown people don't be here today. They don't be playing. So... Give me some detail about the personality of this person that's coming into group number one. So we got the cross. We got destiny, spirituality, divine guidance, trial, sorrow, emotional loss, necessity, conviction, duty, crisis, fate. Didn't I say like someone had paid their debt to society or something? It's like, yeah. You paid your debt. This situation was faded. I feel like it's like as soon as you get released, it's like mentally released. Like once you realize like you've done what you needed to do with yourself, you feel confident, you're moving forward with leaps and bounds. And honestly, you are carried by your faith. Um, nobody is perfect and you are thankful for all of the trials and tribulations and everything that you went through because you wouldn't be who you are. You would not if you wouldn't have went through these things. If you wouldn't have went through these things, pal number one, and if the person that you're dating wouldn't have gone through trials and tribulations, like I said, this person after you or the person that you went through could have gone through um, imprisonment, jail time, uh, helps people um, that have gone through rough patches in their life. I think I did say previously that could be a pastor or a mentor or, uh, yeah, something, a, a, a life coach, a coach or something to that standard that teaches people um, structure, guidance, principle, faith, belief, trust system, honor. Like all of that is very important to this person and it's carried this person a long way. Like being led by faith is what's going to help you meet this person. It's going to be uh, a very firm principle in your relationship. I feel like this person is very faith driven. And it's important that the person that they have in their life has a strong faith in the creator, God, um, the universe, very spiritual or whatever. It's not even about someone trying to go off in church, trying to be faking big old dress hats and fancy clothes and be sprawling all over the floor and screaming and crying and putting on a show and acting stupid saying hallelujah to try to prove how important God to you now nah, it's a person that can sit at home and spend time to themselves and dedicate some time to themselves every day um and prayer in solitude and again I want to say it has something to do Again, with your purity. Because this group right here, I feel like you might have been celibate. 
um, for a minute. I feel like this group might, might, uh, it's untouched. This group right here is untouched. And I want to say it's, it's, a, it's a long time coming. And I, when it does happen with this person here, it's going to be very beautiful. Um, you got the clouds here. It says thoughts, problems, doubts, hesitation, uh, beyond view, unclear, confusion, indecision, misunderstandings. So, I feel like that this person is going to be hesitant in the beginning on if they should approach you or not. Because, honestly, I feel like the reason why that you have been single is because... You've mentally been involved somewhere else. And it doesn't even mean that you were physically in this situation. But just mentally, it didn't seem like it would have been the right time to approach you yet. But I see how that light is coming out right here. So, I don't know if something has recently been resolved. Um, I just heard the, the anticipation of you coming down or letting yourself down. Because remember, it's like... You got the hangman here. So it's like you could have been hung up on something. Or sometimes people really don't understand. Like you could put off this energy like I'm not available. And you could be single as shit. But because you were mentally still caught up on something in the past. Or you still hung up with the hangman shit. You, you ain't get enough of that shit yet. You know what I'm saying? You haven't released yourself. Like I said, this is prison release, like mental prison. Like you could have mentally been drawn somewhere else. And this person could have known that or could have just got that energy that there's blockages. Or there could have been some type of sorrow or there could have been some level of something going on in your life that you were hung up on. That they felt hesitant in approaching you about. So I do want to say. Group number one. Be very careful. Like don't be indecisive. And be. In two different worlds. In your head about something. You know what I'm saying. Because it will turn people away. Because someone that's very. Mature. They can sense if they're coming up on a, uh, not a troubled person, but someone that just got a lot of shit going on in their head. Someone just got a lot of shit going on, you know? And they're either going to be one or two type of people. They're either going to see, okay, this person uh, seems guarded or they seem like they are not open to dating or relate they're not ready yet type of thing like that they could have a be the type of person that'll help you and kind of see what's going on and approach you gently and get to know you and you know kind of soften you up or whatever or they could be the complete opposite of there'll be someone that'll back away and when they see that kind of more of that light coming out instead of that darkness because you can tell when someone is still mentally not ready to be approached yet or like they still in the fog you can tell you can feel it you don't think people can't feel that shit they can feel it when someone's not ready yet and this is somebody that if they feel that they'll back away because they'll do more harm to you than helping you you know what i'm saying they they have this is someone that has a principle of faith and if it's meant for you it'll always be there don't rush anything don't rush anything so there's um an energy woman here group number one of this love will be ready for you when you're ready for it um you have to be sure that you are done with your moment of seclusion that you're completely um, they keep saying done with your punishment. Like, why do you feel like you, um, 
someone, I mean, they're saying that someone is punishing themselves by keeping themselves inside and keeping themselves alone. It's like you, you, someone here needs to hear that. You need to go out more. You are a lot more confident. You trust yourself. You know yourself. And again, it's like spend more time outside. Go outside all day into the sunset. And then even continue to enjoy your day. Enjoy the night. Watch the moon rise. It's something about this person. Um, I feel like you guys are hermit. And you need to be more visible. So let's find out. Um, last cards. What is the person that you're going to be meeting? All right. For my single singles. We're reloaded. We're ready to get back out there. And um, we're removing these blockages. We're having clear thoughts. You guys. All these problems are being removed. We ain't having no doubts. We're removing any reason for anybody to have hesitation. Okay, we are going to see clear. We're going to remove confusion. We're going to remove indecision. And definitely not going to have no misunderstandings. I said everything completely opposite of this card. Because we're not going to have that. We're not going to have that. So, let's see what the intentions of the person is. Their sexual intentions and desires with you when they meet you. So, it says... I'm going to make your pussy sore. Can't walk straight. Ooh, Lord, it says sore pussy. They're going to, say, they're going to beat that thing up. I'm going to beat that pussy up. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> they said they're going to beat that thing up. That said, come race. Who will come first? Ooh. My goodness. My goodness, you guys, y'all. <laughs> they said, good girls. Innocent looks. I didn't think you were a freak. Oh, you one of them innocent looking girls. They didn't think that they could uh beat that thing up like that. They thought that you were one of them timid little prissy little jones, but like you you look you had some go in you, huh? Huh, group number one, you had some go in you, huh? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, group number one. It said revenge sex. Having sex with another out of jealousy or anger. Oh, Hold up. Who's having the revenge sex now? Hold on. Mm. I want some more information about this. What you mean revenge sex? I get it though. I get it. Because remember how I said like one of y'all was celibate for like a long time. Like it's like pent up sexual energy for a long time. Could you imagine not having sex for like two or three years? That would be like some revenge level sex. It's like you taking out all of that pent up frustration, all of that energy, all of that having to wait, all of that just, ooh, you just like really taking that shit the fuck out on somebody. Like you might have to tell your person like, listen, I ain't had sex for a very long time. I've been, you know, listen, you just going to have to give me maybe like a month or two to just go crazy, to just go straight ham, eggs, and bacon, okay? Ham, eggs, and bacon, and with a little fruit salad and some orange juice on the side. You just going to have to let me go all the way to fuck in on you for like a smooth month and a half. And then I'll calm down. I don't want you to think I'm no sex addict or nothing. But you just going to have to let me get it out of my system, okay? Because I'm, listen, I'm reloaded. I'm about to fucking explode. Listen, all, listen to me. Tony. Tonita. Who, listen. I, <laughs> whoever you is. Who's, whoever is on the receiving end of the collective's sexual frustration. They are going to have to repent for the way that they about to wear your ass the fuck out. Like you are going to think that there's some type of sexual deviant. The way that they about to be throwing your ass around this room. Trying to listen. 
I just heard trying to suck you dry. Like what? I feel, oh my God. I just heard like this, whoever this is, y'all. Ladies, this whoever this lady is, is a head monster. Like they are really tried and true. <laughs> they are really tried and true. Like they got some skills with that mouth, honey. They have had not, they have had not a chance to practice their spectacular mouth tricks on anybody in a very long time. They gonna need a second to warm it on up. They need it, oh my God. So I feel like whoever this woman is here, they really like to make a man squirm. They really like to make a, this woman really likes to please a man's body, like every inch of a man's body. This woman is low key a sexual goddess. She's about to step back into her sexual goddess tree. Like I told you, this is the motherfucking single singles read. We are re fucking loaded. Load up the gap, bitch. Y'all about to listen. Who gonna come first? Who gonna make who come first? Because I'm about to let you know, group one, he gonna beat the pussy up. But you better see if he gets to the pussy. Because I'm trying to tell you, like, your mouth skills. Your mouth skills, girl. <laughs> Listen, you was looking like a good girl. He didn't know that you had that freak up in you. Because I'm a freak in the morning, a freak in the evening. Just like me. I need a rough neck nigga that can satisfy me. Just for me. If you are that kind of man. <laughs> Stop playing. Stop playing. I just need you to understand what I'm saying. Stop playing. Stop playing. A freak in the morning and a freak in the evening. I need a... Ooh, 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 ooh. I gotta get out of here. I, I have got to stop it with you guys. Listen, group number one, it's been fun. It's been fun. It's It's been fun. But yeah, you give me butterflies. I like that. Please get out of any emotional, mental blockages that you got going on. I, but I honestly think, um, like, this person is coming to your life to help remove that shit. They really have. They've come into your life to remove any type of mental blockages and sexual tension and frustration in your life. And I really do feel like a lot of that... Uh, the clouds and thing. It's because you got a lot of sexual pressure that needs to be released, baby. You ever come so hard, like your whole body be tingling. It feel like them little butterflies just tingling all over your body. All your shit locked up. Your shit like that. Okay, you thought you was a paraplegic. Like, stop playing with it. You know what? Mm-mm. 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 Listen, God made you wait for a reason, not a season, but a reason. Okay, you better believe what God doing for you. Group number two, what it do, baby? Okay, can we get into group number two, please? Let me slide, let me slide these panties on over here. Let me slide these panties on over here, okay? Okay, we are reloaded, hello. Let's get into this. Group number two, what it do, okay? If you have picked the Ma 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 Jumuna, okay? And the number two, if you pick the Gemini sign, it don't, it don't mean that you have to be a Gemini or have Gemini placements or like people that's Geminis. You could have just liked the way that this sign looked, okay? You could have just liked this group because it was in the middle. You could have just liked the pink bracelet. Okay, you could have been born in February. You could have just picked this because it's motherfucker February. Okay, because right now it's February. It's the it's it's you you could number two could be your favorite month. Okay, I don't know what gravitated you to this group, but ha la la, sha la la. Okay, praise God for you. What's going on, baby? What's going on, Putin? Let's get into this. Let's get right the fuck on into this, shall we? Okay, we are reloading. Okay, so listen. And I love this bracelet. This is one of my, but I have, where is it? I have a big cluster 
up. Oh, why? Oh, let me find out all my good crystals is all hitting all back up in here. Y'all, let me find out group number two. Y'all done help me find all my crystals. All up in my singing bowl, y'all. I got a big old cluster of this the same crystal. I done paid like 60 some dollars for this. Okay. I think it's called Ryan Knight or something like that. Right? And this is green opal or something. Green African opal child. Look. I done forgot I had these crystals up in here. Child, hold on. What the heck? Repurpose my crystals? Don't play with me. I'm sorry, group number two. Listen, we just y'all just gonna have to jump to the timestamp because child, listen, I'm just I'm just doing what I'm doing up in here. Okay, listen, group two, what it do? It's all about you now, okay? So if you picked this group, we're about to see why are you single right now? Group number two, why are you single? Let's see. Ooh, look at you got that tail out. Okay, got that tail out. Ooh, child, I feel like you just, <laughs> you just survived the wickedest of the wicked. I feel like the reason why you two, I feel like you have to find a better surrounding of people. You, you've been around some people that do not mean you well at all. You've been around some people that be straight up trying to take advantage of you. And be trying to take your kindness for weakers. Uh, these are set up artists. These are people that will set you up for the takedown, girl. And you be having your tail out. And you be looking all good. You be looking all fashionable. And you be talking your shit. Well, I feel like y'all be talking a lot of shit. But well, I feel like this group be talking a lot of shit that be getting them into trouble. <laughs> well, I be feeling like this group be talking a lot of shit that be getting them into the trouble. I feel like you like to hang around the wrong group of people. It's something about this group like danger to turn you on. You like someone that you could talk shit with. You like a little toxic dick from time to time. <laughs> I feel like you, you one of motherfuckers that like to smack you around and choke you out and having sex. Like you like at the sex, you want to see some handprints on your ass. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right. You one of them people that like to fuck back and be calling nigga daddy and shit. You nasty. You a kinky little freaky bitch. I already know what you be into. I already know. Then you got the queen of water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You real emotional. You real emotional. I, I know. And you want to have a big family. And you want to have a whole bunch of kids. And you like busting up wide open. And you like making breakfast. And, and making pumpkin bread. In goddamn autumn. Okay? <laughs> you a seasonal type of bitch. Okay? You like your seasons. You like your holidays and shit. You want to have uh, uh, a big family. You want to have goddamn... Uh, what's that? What's that? That fucking nasty ass. Why, why, why I feel like y'all like... Uh, Y'all like real rustic homes and shit. Why well, I want to say you uh like eating fucking rye and pump a nickel bread and shit. You like artisanal breads and fucking <laughs> <laughs> brioche cheese and jam. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, bruh. Funny as shit, y'all. I feel like you're a very eclectic creature. You are. Why I feel like you like artisanal? What the fuck? You 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 like eating them fucking Rubens and shit. You like eating nasty ass Rubens with sauerkraut and that cheese and that fucking uh, corned beef. And ooh 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 ooh. Where is you from? I feel like you from New York and shit. Like you be going them fancy ass delis and shit. You know what them? Yeah, them fucking delis in New York and shit. They do be making them Rubens and shit look bomb and shit. On that rhyme pump and nickel bread and all that, that nasty ass bread be having all them seeds and all that shit and whatever. That shit good to you, ain't it? Why do you feel like you be around a lot of Italian people or something? But I just heard rhubarb. Who the fuck eats rhubarb? What the fuck? What the hell do you? Is that a. a, a Y'all are telling me it's, a, it's some type of dessert or some shit. Who the fuck eats this shit? This is not 
Y'all must not be no black people at all. Y'all do not come from black heritage. Shout out to you. I would, I'm intrigued though. Okay? I'm in fucking intrigued. Okay? Y'all be eating sandwiches with fucking pork and broccoli raw. And sh that shit sounds fucking good. And I'm intrigued. This ain't black shit. But you be hanging around a whole bunch of criminals. And I don't know, you like the Italian mafia or some shit. What the fuck? Look, the queen of fire. Yeah, yo, you a feisty little bitch, ain't you? You a spitfire, ain't you? Ooh, and you like to use your sexuality to your advantage, don't you? You nasty, freaky bitch, don't you? Yes, you do. Ooh, dad, I told you be having that pussy out. <laughs> Y'all be having that pussy out. Y'all be having that pussy out. You like to hang around gang leaders and shit. You be liking around. Uh, Y'all be hanging around thugs and shit. You be making them good pumpernickel on rye. <laughs> <laughs> Making them a Reuben on pumpernickel and rye. What you want? Pumpernickel rye. You ain't got no regular bread. You like to do that fancy shit for them. You know what they like to do. Look, look. You want a Cuban with some broccoli raw? Okay, stop fucking playing with you. Okay? What you, uh, what you run the deli and shit like that to, um, wash the criminal money? Is that what you be doing? You be into some other shit, group number two. That's what you be doing, some little pussy on the side. Is that what you be doing, group number two? You be into the criminal life, don't you? Don't you? Don't be out don't be acting like you all signed tender shit. Yeah, you yeah, you tender. <laughs> yeah, you real tender. That meat be tender shit on them sandwiches and shit, don't it? You know how I cook them sandwiches. You know how I make them sandwiches, don't you? Give them some good pussy and give them a ham sandwich after. Get, fuck around. Fuck around. I don't know why you're single. I just feel like you like, look, I don't know why you're single. Maybe you just want to be saying, look what this queen of wands in the reverse. Maybe you ain't looking for no motherfucking relationship. You be busting that pussy the fuck open. Okay? And be serving them a Reuben on pump a nickel or rye. Okay? Stop fucking playing with me. We come right up in them. I feel like this person has something to do with a criminal organization. I don't know why I feel like I feel like number two. I like to fuck with people in a criminal underworld or either you do things on a hush to make money and you look very innocent but you set up you you it's it's Girl, girl, it is your world. I feel like you could have been doing this shit for a long time. You could have just been living a lifestyle that was not set up for people to win in relationships with you at all. You use your sexuality to your advantage and it's set up for you to win and for everybody else to lose. Like you could have just been like that for a very long time and it just is what it is um i feel you're getting older now i feel like a lot of the i'm just keeping it 100 group number two i feel like a lot of the way that you used to live your life and your lifestyle i feel like it's starting to backfire because now you're getting older and you want a relationship and you could have been very okay and assertive and aware of who you are but just queen of wands and reverse you're very aware of who you are like the fuck let's 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 have slut positivity let's have slut appreciation let's look shout out to all my boss bitches that um uh, are very empowered and to why i want to just date one of these niggas these these listen every time why are we coming to tarot? Because there's a whole bunch of bitches that be fucking with a whole bunch of niggas that be cheating on them. So why in the hell you going to slut shame a woman or even put slut in the paraphrase or category for a woman that be on some boss pussy shit? Like, these niggas ain't about to play with me. I'm definitely about to play. Look, they, these niggas in a lose-lose situation fuck around with me because if you think you coming around here playing some games with me, you going to play games with yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh, huh, huh. This group number two, this group number two right here, 
they gonna fuck around and take your money. They gonna fuck around and stab you in your heart. They gonna fuck around and hurt you. Do you understand? Like there's a, like this group number two when it comes to matters of the heart and things like that. They ain't playing to lose. They know how manipulative and nasty and divisive people can be out there and they're just as manipulative and divisive and all of that shit right the fuck with them you understand so it's look it's a doggy -e dog world out here roof nigga like no bullshit <laughs> no bullshit like this is straight up how group number two lived their life like for a long time but at this at this point of their life right now honestly like they could be tired of that shit they could be tired of that shit I want to say it's like uh, also there's something also about their reputation as well because you see how that man's hand is reaching out to her and you see how she's not calling him back she's not receiving him like she could be heartless like a ruthless you know what I'm saying so it's like you could have a reputation of someone that is um could have got around at in, in your younger years and things and now you're more um conservative you're older, you really trying to create and build a family, you're more focused on love now, you're not as wild as you were in your younger years, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know how I many females are sexual prude and don't know who they are sexually and never uh, explore their sexuality and things like that, and they done got beat up manipulated, bruised, and abused by these niggas out here in the street. So it's like, I'd rather be someone that flourishes in my womanhood. I don't give, like, this is a, I, like, I promise you, she don't give a fuck about how nobody feel about her. At all. <laughs> At all. But this is why she's single, though. Like, she's had her, she's had her, her affair of her few. You know? She's kind of lived a, a wild lifestyle. And I feel like this is a woman that is ready to settle down. And or if you are a male watching this video, you fucking typically date whores. You typically date loose women because you have no intention of giving them anything. And you were just in it for what you was in. you like to like. You didn't have pure intentions any fucking way. And you rather date and deal with people that were just like you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I like the I like I like the horse. I like to date women that I didn't have to expect a relationship. It's like they just in 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 it for a fun time, in it for the sport of it. real talk but at the same time it's like these women are very outside of the sexual aspect of it they're very nice women to talk to and you can tell that they can like they got some substance with them you know like they're emotionally sound they're not just like airheads and people that just don't have a good heart you know what I'm saying it's just yeah so let's see when you can expect to meet someone that you're gonna fall in love with it says if you believe you'll find success so if you truly believe that they're good people out here group number two if you really believe that you're ready for this it'll come to you you'll find success in it but again I want to make sure that this group is really ready to receive it and that you're over this kind of loose lifestyle if you may i feel like this um because the five of 
swords is like a lose lose situation and someone that is it's like immediate failure it's it's like you're playing to lose so i don't know if this is your mindset if you felt like because of your past of the things that people might have the people things that people might know about you gossip rumors slander um This is somebody that thinks that it's things that people can say about them from their past that can hurt their future. It's like there's certain things that could be hidden about this person personally that they may be ashamed of. That I feel like you may need to get over. I feel like you might not want to talk about these things. Like whoever this is, don't talk about your past with anybody else that doesn't already know about it. Um, I feel like if you feel like some shit come up the pipe, just be honest about it and get in front of it. Don't be ashamed of yourself about who you are or anything that you used to do. I feel like you're so much different now. Like If you really believe that you're ready for love and that you're past this type of life and this lifestyle and again, um, dating men that either chase after these type of individuals because I feel like anybody from your past no longer knows you for who you are. They may know who you for who you were and how you used to act in your childhood, but that ain't who you are anymore. You see all of this rain and stuff. You don't clean yourself. You don't wash all of that shit away. So you really have to um, believe number one that you will attract the type of people that you're trying to attract. In this new state of cleanliness that you're in, you are different now. You got to believe it for you to receive it. Once you believe it, like you'll find the success. It'll find you. But you got to believe it. So let's see. Tell me um, about the new person that you're going to fall in love with. Tell me about your future in love tell me about your future in love so you got getting to know each other you got security and you got ecstasy so you are about to meet someone group number two that you're going to be spending a lot of time and talking to each other and you're going to be getting to know each other i do feel like no matter what i just said you're going to be open and you're going to this person i feel like you're going to tell this person about your past so that they can know more about your wild style and it, it because i feel like you don't want any secrets in between each other and i feel like this person is kind of like intrigued with your stories about shit from your past, from your childhood, and why well, I feel like there's someone that might have used to been a runaway. You know what I feel like is crazy? I feel like whoever this person that you might get to know, like they might have a trouble, they might have a more fucked up childhood, or when they were in college and the shit like they had a wild side and a wild past too. So I don't I don't think that it's something that's like don't be ashamed of anything that you used to do with it you were used to doing. Cause we all grow. We all change. We really, really do. And you always gotta be proud of yourself and love yourself because if you can't acknowledge where you came from it's no way that you can be assertive and be appreciative where you're at now to even look forward to where you're going. If you're that ashamed of your past, that you're ashamed to talk about it, that you don't want anybody to know who you are, that you can't assert yourself in your growth and where you currently stand at now to be able to be like, y'all have no idea where the fuck I'm going.
this getting to know each other phase, you're going to feel so much more confident about yourself. I, I like how it's like this look in her eyes talking to him. Y'all like finding out about each other. Y'all like swapping stories about y'all crazy childhood. and Y'all learn so much um, about each other through your stories. And through these old stories of your pastime, I feel like you um, develop more sense of security because you feel like you know more about each other and y'all you understand each other. It's going to be a certain level of protection that y'all have over each other because y'all understand each other's trauma. You understand why y'all had the lifestyle and the upbringing. And it's in. You, you've ever um, listened to someone tell you about how they grew up and. They're such a good person, man. And it's like, I can't even believe you survived. Like, the person that I see and that I deal with today, it's no way that you would be able to tell me that you witnessed or that you went through that. And I could believe it. I still can't believe it. It's only because I know you and I've seen proof and I know you're not lying to me that you survived that shit. And that's why... I, 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 I'm that faithful to you. I'm that protective to you. That I'm that involved with you the way. Because, you know, it's crazy for someone to have gone through all of that. And still come out to be the good person that you are. And I admire that. And I'm going to make sure that I, uh, like, really make you feel like you're never alone. That you never have to be afraid. And that you never um, are in a place in your life where you feel like you don't have someone to talk to. You and you don't have someone that is looking out for you and supporting you. It's like more than just love. It's a friendship. It's family. You know. It's a sense of belonging. And then on top of that, you guys bring each other ecstasy, love, companionship, true connection. Like you ever um, be sleep with someone and it's like you just rolling over and changing the position in the bed and it's like that man or that woman pull you closer to them like you know and they don't even realize that they're doing it like they're still asleep you know what I'm saying but it's like just you just squirming and changing your position and it's just like they pull you close to them it just makes you feel so enamored with love just so comfortable so relaxed you bring these people ecstasy. You bring this person a new vision of life and a new lifestyle of what, like you ever, uh, have you ever been with someone for the first time and when you wake up that new day, it's like you feel light on your feet. You feel like your room looks different. When you look outside, outside looks different. Like your whole life feels different. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, you bring that to this person. Okay? <laughs> you bring that to this person. <laughs> So let's read this. Getting to know each other. Enjoying. Enjoy discovering new uh, commonalities, goals, and dreams as you get to learn more about each other. I just uh, heard. I want to do that too. I want to go there too. I feel like you guys have 
such unique personalities. Like if y'all was to get married, it will almost be a struggle of trying to fit all of the colors of each one of y'all's personality to express it in the wedding. Like it would cost so much money just trying to fit both of y'all's self-expression into the decorations, into the music, into the food. Like, oh my God. Like, when y'all get married, I'm speaking it into existence. Like, stop fucking playing with me. When y'all get, get married, y'all's wedding is going to be ridiculous. And I mean ridiculous. And I do have a wedding prediction. Uh, pick a card reading that I do as well on Friday. So y'all check that out on Fridays, all right? Ah. Let's get into this. It says security. What is yours will always be yours. This love is secured by the divine. Like I said, this person, the more and more that you get to know it, the more and more that you get to know each other and you be open and you express your thoughts, your desires. And once y'all get all that past shit out of the out, out of your system and the getting to know each other stage. Instead of talking about your past memories, you guys are going to be more connected about your plans of creating new memories. Now that you got somebody that you have this sense of security with, that you feel like you could really bond with, someone that really understands you, that's all you're going to be doing is creating new memories. You know what I actually think is cute? You know, like how you used to go to your grandma's house and she used to have... um them picture books, them old school picture books that you used to have to go get actual photos uh, at the CVS or, you know, the Kodak store. You have to go pick up printouts of your pictures and you would put a, um, you would put them in these picture books and stuff, these photo albums. And I think it would be so cute from the day that y'all start actually talking to each other start to take pictures of your little outings of your vacations of your anniversaries and like make a photo album of you guys this relationship and your happiness y'all going to strip clubs oh because y'all this this group this relationship y'all gonna go to strip clubs with each other Oh, y'all gonna go to Vegas. Y'all, this group has a wild style. <laughs> y'all have a wild side with each other that I think I can see y'all going to raves, going to all type of parties, and all <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can see y'all really having a lot of amazing fun with each other. Because you guys bring each other ecstasy. It says, I just heard when you be true and honest with each other, you could really enjoy yourself in the fun in the relationship last long. Only thing you got to do is just be true and honest with each other. Like, will you got to hide or be ashamed of who you are, where you've come from in your life purpose and where you're going? It's not about how you started. It's about how you finished the game. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish the game, sweetheart. And this group right here, y'all gonna finish this game out with a bang. Please appreciate where you are and where you going. Please do. Ecstasy. Your partner elevates your mind, your body, and soul. This feeling of pleasure is electrifying. You see this? You give me, you give me butterflies. All right. So now that we know, you know, a little bit about how this relationship is going to be, you guys are going to take time to get to know each other. You're going to bring a lot of security. You're going to bring a lot of ecstasy. It seems like 
the female energy or the male energy has a wild side. They kind of like people that are like adventurous and naughty and things like that. So let's uh, find out more about the personality of the person that you're going to be uh, dating and meeting. Okay, so we got the woman. You or the current, the person you know, a girlfriend, fiance, spouse, a love interest, a female energy. So the person that you're going to be meeting is a female. Okay. And it says a Libra, the king of air, a cardinal sign. It says the timing within one to two weeks during the fall from September the 22nd through October the 21st. The ruling planet is Venus. It says consummate diplomat with fine, just, accommodating, kind, desires harmony and balance, very social, very artistic, they're indirect. This is the card of justice. So this can be an air sign man meeting a woman. As you can see, this woman has very chocolate features in this car. Doesn't necessarily have to. I want to say this person wears a lot of bronzer. A lot of bronzer. And especially in the summertime, loves to have golden kissed skin. Loves to tan or, or tans very well. Okay? This male... This person's eyes are like tripping me out. Y'all see how pretty this man's eyes is? I don't know if you guys have light eyes or again like that just air sign energy if this person wears a lot of blue. Whoever this male energy is, I don't think that this person's favorite color is black at all. It's like either blue or gray. I want to say that this person's favorite shoes, if it's Jordans, if this person loves Jordans, I don't know what the number of the shoe is, but I just know it's white, blue, and gray. And white, blue, and gray. Like this person always wears sweatpants. This person wears sweatpants a lot, a lot of sports, a lot of athletic uh, gear. I want to say this person loves voluptuous women. This person could be biracial or um, this could be a bi um, an interracial, a interracial relationship. This could be a Caucasian or a fair man that's um, in love with thick voluptuous women or women that have more ethnic uh, features, curly hair. I just heard a, a, a long head, thick, red bone. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just heard that this woman is a natural beauty in this situation. It's a natural beauty. Very curvy. Has a natural body. Like if you were a stripper in your pastime. An exotic dancer or some type of like burlesque performer or something or maybe just like only fans or something like maybe just posted pictures or something it's because you just have like a naturally beautiful and curvaceous body i just heard that this person was in the water sports oh my god okay i don't mean to go like too vulgar but if this is like someone that's on pornhub I mean, not Pornhub. Ooh. Even if the person is on like a site like that has old videos or something like that. I feel like it's like self-masturbation or something like that. Like squirting videos or something. Like you're not going to see this woman getting gutted out or nothing like that. But I want to say that this woman made a whole lot of money from that shit. You see all that green in the back of her environment? Like don't play with her at all. Like what? 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 So don't listen. <laughs> don't feel unconfident or 
Don't worry about no disparaging remarks about what you are or what you used to do, honey girl. Because, listen, you are cute and you was making you a good little coin. And I, I don't see that he's bothered about anything that has anything to do about your past, okay? So, let's find out what this person that you're meeting, their sexual intentions. Let's find out about their sexual intentions. But I believe that dreams do come true. It's all about you. I feel like you're for sure going to enjoy meeting each other. You're really going to enjoy the talking to and dating phase. I feel like you might become sexual quickly, but you guys bring each other a lot of ecstasy. It's like, so what's the point in waiting? What's the intentions? What's their sexual desires with my group number two? This is all over you seducing. I'm going to seduce the fuck out of you. Ooh, Lord. It says nude. Basic is better for me. Mm. All right. Dine in and fuck. Let's do nothing but eat and fuck. Okay. All right. It says I get insecure. What if I'm not good enough for you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this the masculine feeling like this? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my hand is itching. Oh, my goodness. Why well, I just heard, dude, this person got enough money to prepare for you. Why well, I feel like there's something about this man feeling like this woman is expensive. I just heard this man just told me that he feels like you're expensive and he's not secure about if he has a lot of money to afford to spend on you, to like take you out a lot. That's probably why he's saying that he wants to dine in and fuck. Let's do nothing but eat and fuck. Because this person may not have a lot of money to just spurge on you every time that they see you. And they may feel insecure about that. I feel like maybe this person is going to spend a lot of money in the beginning on making sure that you really, really enjoy yourself. And this person really did enjoy herself. You know what I'm saying? Like. It wasn't a front or anything, but I feel like this person may not be in a position where they can afford to continuously do that. So it's like um, once they feel comfortable with you, they just don't want to feel like you are feeling slighted if you realize that you're spending a lot more time in the house, being intimate, bonding with each other in that way versus the way that they were on the checkout <laughs> you know what I'm saying they hope that once they stop throwing the checkout that you won't throw the respect out you know because like I still got to pay bills I still got to take care of my responsibilities and stuff like that um but it's just I feel like this person is not as financially together as they would like to be to be able to on a continuous basis spend money the way that they were in the beginning so they may feel a little bit uncomfortable and a little uh it may fuck with their confidence a little bit because that was such a big part of them getting to know you so group number two don't be surprised if it was really really great in regards to the outings in the beginning but it slows down like after like the two or three month period because they probably spent a lot of money doing that in the beginning and they need to recoup their savings so that you guys can do it a little bit more actually I think that this person would like to do better things with you but they have to it has to make sense like because what you want to do Go out to eat every weekend or you want to go out, out to eat every now and then. But we go out to two or three vacations a year. 
Like, what you want to do? You know what I'm saying? So, it's like something about priorities. But they're definitely going to seduce you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this person sends you some nude pictures. Or they like your nude pictures. And they like it when you just have very basic makeup. I like the fact that you don't try to put too much on and again group number two if you come to this person's house or you meet them and you're very comfortable and you just have on like some lip gloss or like a little bit of lipstick or whatever you're not like real heavy on the makeup and like the fake exterior type of shit like that and you like to send some classic nudes every now and then baby <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like you know how to put it on. Like you know how to play it a little bit dangerous. You know how to bring a little. You know how to do it, girl. Like you know, like you don't play it safe. And you don't play to lose. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you don't play to lose. So if there's any other competition that is out there, like you're going to play dirty. Like no, you're you're going to fuck on the first day. You're going to suck that dick up. You're going to send nudes. You're going to do all of the shit that dumb other bitches don't do. You're going to talk dirty. You're going to tell them about all the wild shit you did in the past. That all these bitches is embarrassed about. No, listen. <laughs> I cannot fuck with you, group number two. Group number two, it has been fun. That has been your reading. Let's get to group number three. Group number three, what it be. Let's get into it with you guys. All right, hold on. Let me stand up and stretch real quick, you guys. My leg, child. I'm getting old. Ooh. Ooh, baby, I'm getting old. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. So my group number three, what it be if you picked the Scorpio? The Scorpio symbol. Does not mean that you have to be a Scorpio. Does not mean that you have to have Scorpio placements or that you even had to know that this was a Scorpio sign. Like I said, you could have thought that this was a goddamn Eminem, girl. It don't matter, okay? If you pick the Scorpio symbol, the number 11, all right? And this yellow bracelet, boo, it is all about you. It is your season for a reason. Let's get into this, you guys, all right? Why? Why would I throw that bracelet over there? Because I'm happy come alone if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy come alone if you know that happiness is for you. Hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> Why did that stop playing in my head? Stop playing with it, y'all. Y'all better be happy. Shit, I heard I'm super single and I'm ready to mingle. I'm happy. Y'all better be fucking happy. Come on, group three. What it be? Let's find out why is group uh, three single. Look, I look. Because I'm happy, clap alone. If you feel like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy, clap alone. If you know. Look, sing with me. Sing it with me now. Okay, stop playing with you. <laughs> stop playing. And you got the tool border. The tall border. Look, he's trying to be your savior. He's trying to be your savior. I want to be saved. Look. I want to be saved. Look, these niggas be out here trying to save y'all group number three. Y'all don't be listening to them. You be out here in your own world. Because I'm happy because I'm being single. And I'm doing what I want to do. Sing it with me now. Okay? These men is be out here be trying to rescue you, be trying to save you. You be all in your lonesome, enjoying yourself. Look, you ain't trying to be captured. You ain't trying to be in prison. You ain't trying to be involved with nobody. You just enjoying, skipping, trying to line, okay? Reading, investigating new things about yourself. You all in your craftsmanship, okay? You might have just recently started school, all right? You all in your talents. <laughs> well, I feel like y'all just 
just like oh, yeah it's like you feel so much festive and carefree by yourself you got so many people like trying to rescue you from this lonely world of peace and solitude and of being alone there's like a thousand people that think that you're alone and that you need to be wifed up and you need to stop being single but it's like I didn't ask you to come and rescue me. Do you see her? She's like, uh, 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 help me! Help! <laughs> He's trying to trap me! He's trying to capture me! He's trying to talk me into getting married! Help! You need to be with me. I love you. I don't want to be with <laughs> Well, I feel like I don't want to be with nobody. Y'all are comfortable with being single right now. I feel like y'all are... And y'all see this night of goddamn fire right here? Oh, it's... This is a page of fire. This is... Somebody gonna give you that good dick. That good long stroking. That good long choking. Ooh. Ooh, you ever had somebody... Ooh, y'all are nasty! Ooh, y'all just... Ooh. Do y'all wanna know what I just seen? Oh, my God. Oh my God. I just seen somebody like fucking you up like they got you with your legs wrapped around their waist and they got you hyped up against the wall and they got like one hand holding your ass to hold you up while they got you up against the wall and the other one is like choking you like bitch you like this dick don't you you like daddy's dick tell me you like daddy's dick tell me you bought the cup now, oh my god oh my god y'all are freaky and sneaky because i feel i feel the level of y'all getting caught I feel a level of like butt cheek exposure, like somebody walking by, like seeing you. Do I feel like you guys are in like a closet or something? Why don't, because this is the page of wands. I feel like this is someone sending you a message on your lunch time to get that dick real quick. Come get this dick right quick. Come get this dick right quick. Okay? Hold on, how my man said on back on um on Ace Boys Worldwide, he said spread that. Bitch, come spread that. Come let me spread that real quick. Look at you walking down the hall. Look at him walking down the hall like big dick. Lou Raw, look, Lou Rawls with the big draws. Lou Rawls with the big do your do your do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to the front? Listen, you could tie it in a knot and you could tie it in a row. Okay? I can't even talk right now. Good gracious. Somebody got that word. Group number three, I feel like the reason why you single right now is because you got somebody that's on your line and you running from them. This person is very fascinated by you. This person just likes to watch you work. I don't know if you could be like a social media person. If you like to um, express yourself online. Um, whoever this is, is, they like to talk a hell of a lot. They like to show off their talent. They like to show off their skills. Like, you guys could be a, a nerd. Like, you always learning something. You are studying something or just always in your groove. You know what I'm saying? Like, you always in your groove, in your, in your moment. It's like you 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 steady you you're steadily sharpening your your penmanship your um you're sharpening your blade. So whatever it is that you do, it's like you're always doing it. You're always practicing. You're always at work. You're always studying or something. And this person is very intrigued and loves to see you while you work. I feel like this is someone that's been watching you. I don't even, I think that you are so deep in your glory because they don't know your story. Okay, look, you, look, you are so deep in your glory because they don't know your story. You were, you could have been somewhere like 
with a mop bucket singing, doing your job, paying attention, doing what you normally do. And there might be a group of people listening and looking at you and you got your music on and you too busy skipping around and singing and putting on your own little personal show. You did not even realize that there was a group of people that was looking at you. And I want to say by the time that you realize that it was someone watching you, like you may be in a space little moment of embarrassment because I don't think that you were ready to release that out to the world yet so it's like you wasn't ready to um, like you were just rehearsing it was like rehearsal Group number three, I'm going to say, and not to bring up anybody from the past at all, but cause I, because you did have the number 11 as well. This might be a second time around, but it's not nothing and no, no, no karmic, no bullshit like this. You could be having like a second time around with somebody that maybe you could have talked to for a short period of time that I want to say like they always admired you or paid attention to you like they never stop liking you or looking you up or seeing what you were doing or something it's like every time they look at you it's like you just get better and you get better and you get more experience and you get more talented and you get more beautiful and you get you know it's like they never stop being amazed by you they never stop looking at you at all this could be someone that never gave up on you never gave up on the idea of you never stopped wanting to see where things will go with you. There's two pages here. And the two of cups and expression of love. So this is someone having firm knowledge that I'm single because it's like I want to be on my own. I want to take some time to spend some. I want to take some time to spend some time to myself and my own reality. I want to create certain movements in my life. I want to enjoy being the creative. It's like I don't want to be in a relationship right now. There's like people trying to come at me in all ends, but it's like I'm more focused on myself. It's like I don't I don't want to be saved from being single. Like I don't think that this is this person's focus, but with this page of wands right here, oh, there's someone coming directly at you. Like <laughs> This person means business. This person plans on beating out all of the competition. I feel like this person has watched you for enough. Like they're, they're done watching you. It's, it's time to take action. And it's like they're going to make you love them. And they're tired of you resisting them too. Like honestly. This is someone that I think that you know. But again, I feel like you never paid attention to, were always stuck in your own zone and being in your own fantasy world. You do not pay attention to this person at all, group number three. Do you understand? And you, this person has been trying to, I want to say for a while, trying to save you, like trying to get you and you just. I feel like you're more focused on your passions 
your passion products and things like you 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 never paid this person attention but this person means business now this person's confidence and I feel like their ego at this point is not taking no for an answer um this person is bringing a level of it's like some big dick energy right here it's like listen woman i'm 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 tired of you trying to run for me i feel like this month I'm about to put this dick up on your back like bitch because this ain't even nobody that be bread. Because, you know, niggas with a whole bunch of dick. Whole bunch of dick. <laughs> niggas with a whole bunch of dick. They don't be bragging about that shit, girl. They don't be talking about that shit, girl. They will put that shit on your back. You know what I'm saying? But, like, the nigga won't put that shit on your back. Like, you don't be crying. Get away. Like, I don't want to be. And I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. going to put that wood right up on your back. Right between your butt cheeks. Like, bitch, you all do know what the fuck I do to you, girl. You fucking playing around. I've been trying to be nice now the fuck? Bitch, you ain't trying to feel this. What? Girl, that's how your ass cleaned up on that wall. I'm just saying something. Listen to me. Listen to me when I'm trying to tell you what I know. It's going to be instant, girl. Girl, once you feel that wood, you're going to be like, oh, for real? For real? For real? Girl, you ain't even know. Girl, did you? I feel like you was sleeping on somebody. Look, 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 look. Now you will see that motherfucker walking down the hallway. You can be like, God damn, that nigga got some dick. That nigga got some dick. I ain't know that little motherfucker got some dick like that. That nigga got some dick. Woo! You ain't gonna be running no more, baby. Woo, and it's two of cups. This man wants you more than you want him. Do you understand? This the week, this, this why y'all single? Oh my God, y'all! When can you expect this love to come? Look, it says romance. It's already here. It improved help. I told y'all, y'all were in a land of your own. You guys were in a land of your own. I feel like you were more. You see all this green. I feel like your heart chakra is opening a little bit more now, where you're able to. Be more healthy minded in regards to the romance department. I'm trying to tell you, like, I don't want to be saved. You ain't want to be saved. You was not interested in no love partnerships. Hell no. At least not with this person. I don't, I don't, I don't think that you were paying attention. I promise y'all, y'all were not paying. You were in your own fucking world while this person was watching you. I promise you. Look at you trying to get away from him. Like, it's like, I'm not interested in romance and love at this time. Listen, you gonna come over here and start playing with me. Oh, oh, oh I love, oh, mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I feel like this love is already here. I feel like the power is intensifying around it and I feel like you are you're opening up and becoming more receptive to this person trying to pour this love on you. It's like why are you rejecting me? Like cuz you see like the tower in the back, it's like I want to protect you. I want to look after you. I want to give you everything that you need but it's like you're squirming away like you think somebody trying to hurt you or something like that what the fuck anyway so tell me about what this new love relationship is going to look like what is it you got enchanted love oh you gonna feel like something magical you feel like someone put a spell on your ass because i'm trying to tell you you were struggling and fussing and fighting and then this person going Come all up into your life and give you all that good loving and you ain't gonna know what the hell to do with yourself. You don't think this motherfucker put a spell on you. Group number three. Group number three. Oh my God. Child, you gonna be... Confirmation. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Then you got love language. This person speaks your love language. I feel like y'all are going to be so surprised. You were squirming away this whole time for this person. You wasn't listening to this person. You wasn't paying attention. You did not see it for this person. Whole time this person is your whole fucking soulmate. Your whole fucking soulmate, y'all. And this person could be a cancer. Y'all get the fuck out of here, y'all. I swear. Y'all please get out of here. And then you're going to, and then to top it off, it's a vibe too. It's a vibe. Y'all relationship is a whole vibe. Y'all gonna stop with these confirmations too. Y'all really gonna cut it the fuck out. Y'all, you are going to be so in love with this person, group number three. You gonna uh, you gonna you not gonna have no understanding on how this happened, how you overlooked this motherfucker. It is a whole vibe. It's like literally everything that you put. But I honestly feel love going to come to y'all. And you not being single no more is going to come to y'all when you are not paying. You are in your own world. You are not paying attention to this person at all. You're going to be more in tune into your own passions and your own self desires. And like I said, you could be in school. You could be studying something. You could be developing your own talents. Like you could have just started something new. Like I said, I, I want to say like you guys could have just started school or um, I want to say like a new field of study or something that's going to bring you money in the long run, but it ain't no pinnacle, so it's just like you learning something right now. But it's like you enjoy doing whatever the hell this is. Enchanted love. A sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. I want, that's crazy that you could have pushed this one away, group three. You could have really blocked your blessing. You do you see that y'all was running away from this person? It don't matter what this person was doing. You was trying to run away from this person. And this whole time this person is your whole soulmate. And you gonna fuck around and find out. Thank God for this person's persistence. If this person was not so persistent. Even though you was not paying attention and looking at them or any of that. If they did not keep it persistent with you, you would have missed out on this, y'all. Listen, group number three, please pay attention to what I'm saying. If someone is, if they keep trying to pour their love on you and you have been rejecting them and rejecting them and rejecting them and rejecting them. And they keep trying to pour their love on you. This is who I'm talking about. And group number three, you know who I'm talking about. We're not talking about no toxic motherfuckers. We're not talking about nobody that you've had any type of... We're not talking about nobody that you've actually had any real dating history with. Like, this would be new. This is like someone that you really didn't take seriously or give a chance to. Like I said, there's improved health in the love department. Like, you feel more better and good about your... Like I said, your just overall life, like, you are good. Look how happy this person is. Your life is happy. It comes to you with, like, love comes to you when you ain't looking for it, group three. This person speaks your love language. And you feel like this person will put a spell on you. Learning and understanding each other's love language are essential to meet each other's emotional needs. So I like the way that you guys. Um, it's like actually pay attention to each other. I want to say honestly. This is perfect timing for you guys. Group number three. Because. You guys are more. Uh, in a healthy space to be. 
receptive on both ends where it's not someone running and trying to push the other person away because there's no compatibility like you guys are actually listening and learning from each other's uh how each other like what feeds each other's emotion what emotionally speaks to the other person like your man might be a foodie especially if i think that's a cancer this card right here says the cancer sign. Cancers love food. They love family. They love a comfortable home environment. So this person, if you're dating a cancer, you just providing um, a nice warm meal in a comfortable, loving home environment. Oh, that man will never leave your house. Never leave your house. And a cancer, he'll cook for you in return. It might be a better cook for you. It might be a better cook than you. Fuck around. But this person may like expensive things. And you might not be someone that is real big on designer or anything like that. But they are. And their love language is to buy you things. To spend money on you. To take you out. To go on trips. You know, so you guys just learning each other's uh love languages and the things that y'all like to do it, it helps you guys deepen the romance it helps you guys fall more in love with each other and helps you guys to continue to develop that love where you continuously i, I always say i want to be with the person that i can fall in love with every year i can find something new every year that um, i'm falling in love with them about you know so, I, I like that. Understanding each other's love languages. And then it's a vibe. It says, enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. Once you finally let this person in, you don't never, ever want to see yourself with this person out. I think it was perfect timing with this. It wasn't meant for you to really be connected with each other in the way that you are now and the way that you guys are going to be in the future back then in the past when this person was trying to make advances towards you. I don't think that you were ready. Look, you weren't you weren't ready. You weren't ready for what you guys are ready for now. This is new love. This is a new situation. This is true romance. And this is a healthy this is healthy love. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes rejection is God's protection. Someone keep pushing you away, it, it, it's, not the, it's not the time for that. It's not, it's not the time for that. So, um, tell me more about the personality of the person that you're going to be dating. It says, the sun, it says, the sun, uh, the brighter of life, ego, purposeful, pride, willingness, success, reason over instinct, self-realization, vitality, directed, creativity, identity, the sun. So, you know, you guys can really see the purpose of this person being in your life. This person brings a lot of happiness. You see a lot of clarity. This is definitely represents the masculine energy. A lot of warmth. A lot of cheerfulness. A lot of fun. I definitely see um, someone letting go of their ego. And just coming to the realization that um, this person really does admire you. And really wants to set a different standard of life and love for you and you should let them show you definitely see a lot of happiness here a lot of happiness you got the mercury you got the magician like i'm trying to tell you this person i don't this person's will power and determination and just feeling like I'm going to get it to work. I'm going to get it to work. I'm going to get this girl to love me. I'm not going to give up. 
this person's sheer willpower and determination is admirable. So it says the Mercury, the messenger of the gods, communication, ideas, talkative, expressive, thoughts, manifester, resourceful, curious, electronics, conduit, inspired action, quick, the magician. I feel like this person that you're going to be dating, you guys, is funny. <laughs> I can feel. I feel like this person is corny. Like, legitimately, you're going to try to like do little corny ass magic tricks. Just anything to kind of make you laugh, to make you smile, make you pay attention to them. Like, this person is. Uh... <laughs> I feel like this person is a jokester. This person is a jokester. Um, they might send you funny pictures, funny memes, all this type of stuff like that. Uh, this person likes, um, I heard this person is a road runner. This person runs up and down the road. So this person travels a lot. I'm going to say this person is always driving. They're sporty. They're good class of character. I want to say they have a very big social group. And it's always out enjoying the sun. This person has a lot of fun in the sun. And, I, and I, I'm seeing the moon. So I want to say this person could have came into your life in spurts and cycles as well. It's like this person... Will always try to make an advancement towards you. It's like you would reject them. And they wouldn't take it. Negatively to their ego. Because they will always like reposition themselves. Rebuild their confidence back up. And come back around. And try like a new trick. Or try a new. You know what I'm saying. A new gimmick. A new something. You know what I'm saying. But it's like they always come back sharper. Until it's like they're, they're manifesting you to love them it's like they're they're going to keep trying they want to try all of the elements they're going to figure out your love language it's like they they're, they're going to because like this person is so sure and again especially for the magician to come out with the enchanted love you could for sure feel like this person put some type of root work like some spell on you but they feel like this is a masculine energy this is a masculine energy. Just trying to get this female to accept their love for God's sakes. So let's figure out what is this person's intention and sexual desire for my group number three. Let's get into it. It says, I am attracted to your essence. Ooh, 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 group number three. Oh, they said they got a sweet tooth for you. I woke up wanting you so bad. I'm trying to tell you. You always come back around in their mind. It's like they never forgot about you. Especially like if you're on social media. Like you could be like the first thing that be popping up on their timeline. And bitch you be looking good. You understand? Fucking good. Bitch. I'm about to get the hell out of here. It says yes daddy. You'll like their dominating energy. Ah! Oh, that's my daddy, 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 daddy. Ooh, that's my daddy. You know he's in the caddy. Uh, daddy, 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 daddy. Ooh, that's my daddy. You know that's my daddy. Ah, daddy, 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 daddy. Girl, I told you he had you uh, all up on that fucking wall, choked up like bitch. You take this motherfucker. Take you take that same daddy, yes. Ah! Oh my god, y'all got me so excited. It says aggressive fucking hair pulling, neck grabbing, squeezing the body, rough sex. I'm so to not tell y'all. Listen, I don't know. Y'all got this person fucked up, number three. I don't know what the fuck y'all was sleeping on. I don't know what the fuck y'all was sleeping on. But I'm trying to tell you, like, this person is not going to stop you. They're going to make you listen to them. They're going to make you listen, and I'm trying to tell you, they're going to give you the 
fucking up your life. Girl, you ain't. Ain't it survive? Ain't it the whole vibe, y'all? Can you stop? Stop rejecting this person. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Like, this person is genuinely... A, this person loves you, y'all. This person loves you. This per Do you know how long this person has been just trying to get you to pay attention to them? They feel like you are their soulmate, low-key. I, I really want to know what happened in the past. Why you just keep... Running from this person. Why are you running from... But you know what, child? You know what y'all going to have to pay for a personal reading. Well, I'm going to have to pay you so I can get up in your tea because I'm nosy. I'm going to find out what's going on with this here. What's going on with this... Y'all, I got... Bitch, 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 bitch. I got to go. Um, We about to get into this money manifestation. Mondays. Pick a car reading. Y'all, I got other shit to call. I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving me. I hope that y'all enjoyed this reading because, listen, uh, it's a vibe, a eh? Oh, it's a vibe, a eh? Because it's a vibe, a eh? It's a vibe. And group three, tell them, look, your, your, your love language is money. Tell them your, your love language is money and send me $5, okay? I love y'all. <laughs> y'all click the like button. Thank y'all for like, sharing, and subscribing. I'll see y'all uh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Peace.